So the next thing we want to talk about is electrical current, which is the rate at which charges move. Now, charges in a circuit are on electrons. The atoms are so much bigger, they don't really move. So I wanted to show you how it works, because it's not just like flow in a stream. So what I've done is used uh, attosecond stop action photography and uh, subatomic microscopy to blow up a metal atom uh, and slow it down enough so we can actually see the transfer of electrons. You'll be the first people to actually see uh, a copper atom in detail. So what we, oh, here comes one. Here comes an electron. They've put a charge on. There's a cathode must be that way, the negative charge, and the anode must be that way, the positive charge, and it's drawing it toward. I'm not actually touching it, I'm using rubber gloves so that it doesn't hurt. It's flowing on its own. And as it moves by here, in very, very slow speed, it comes in contact with the atom. Now the atom's got electrons all over it, and they hate each other, they try to stay away from each other as much as possible. So when this thing comes into contact, another one bounces off and continues moving. And so what you've got is a transfer of electrons, a continuous flow, but they're not always the same electrons. So let's see, uh, let's do some calculations about that. All right, so let's look at the math behind electrical current. So here's electrical current, and it's given by a capital I. And the current is a rate. It's the rate at which charges move. And charges are given by the little letter Q. It's divided by time. Now, I'll just put in here Q is charge. It's been a while since you had that. And it's measured in coulombs. One coulomb is equal to one big C. So charges in coulombs. And if you're dividing it by time, then the units of this would be coulombs per second. And one coulomb per time, one coulomb per second, is the same as one ampere. It's a definition of an ampere, also known as an amp, or uh, with the abbreviations, it's just one A. So an amp is a coulomb per second, and you can see it from the equation. Current is the rate at which charge moves over time. So let's do an example. I've got a circuit. And uh, I'll put a resistor in there. We'll talk about resistors more later. Got to slow the flow down so you don't burn out the wire. And um, let's say, uh, let's see. Let's say I've got a current of uh, five milliamps. You should know milli and micro. Milli is a thousand, so it's 10 to the minus 3. And micro is a millionth, 10 to the minus 6. So say I've got a current of 5 milliamps. And I'm going to let it run for a time of uh, 3 seconds. And I want to know how much current passes through, say, this point right there, any point. They're all moving at the same rate. Oh, that's another thing about current. When the current starts, the electrons are everywhere. So as soon as the current starts, they all flow at the same rate. So if I look at the current passing by here, it's the same as the current passing by here or through the resistor, everywhere. It's all moving at the same rate in this, uh, in this drawing. So I want to know what's the charge. OK, so I've got picture, knowns and unknowns. The equation is current is charge over time. But I don't know the charge. I know the current and the time, so I need to solve, make a working equation out of this. Multiply both sides by time. Okay. Let me write it out again. I'll just multiply both sides. Charge over time. By time. Charge is already on top. I just got to get it by itself. So now I know charge is current times time. Now the current's 5 milliamps. I'm going to write 5. I can convert that to amps. There are 1,000 milliamps in an amp. Or I can say milli means times 10 to the minus 3. So I'll just write instead of amp, I'll write times 10 to the minus 3, and it's amps. Now instead of amps, 
just because I'm going to cancel out units, I'm going to write coulombs per second because an amp's a coulomb per second. And I'll multiply it by three seconds, which is the time the circuit was running. The seconds cancel, I get charged coulombs. So it must be right. I get uh, 1.5 times 10 to the minus 2 coulombs. Yeah. All right. Let's do one more. Because I just, I just want to make sure the algebra is good for you. So I'm going to get rid of this. You can pause it and reverse if you want to see it again. And let's take that same, same circuit. And let's say the current is uh, 12 microamps. And I need to leave it on long enough so that 60 coulombs of charge passes through. Oops. So how long does this have to run? Well, let's see. Let's start with the basic equation. Current is charge over time. Now I want to get time all by itself and on top, but first I got to first I got to get it on top. It's on the bottom. So if you want to isolate any equation like this, just get it on top, get it by itself. So I'll multiply both sides by time like I did before. That'll cancel. I got time times current is charge. Now time's on top, but it's not by itself. So I got to divide both sides by the current. That'll get rid of the current. So now I have time, time it takes for 60 coulombs of charge to pass through with a 12 microamp current. The time is the charge divided by the current, Q. And I've got the charge of 60 coulombs. Now I've got 12 microamps. I could convert that into 1.2 times 10 to the minus 5 amps, and you can do that. There are a million microamps in an amp, so you can use a conversion. Or I can just say 12, a micro means times 10 to the minus 6. So I'll say 12 times 10 to the minus 6 amps. And again, since I'm canceling units instead of amps, I'm going to write coulombs per second. What I'm going to get, the numbers turn out to be 5 times 10 to the 6. That's 5 million. Now the coulombs cancel. I've got 1 over 1 over seconds, and that turns into seconds. It would take 5 million seconds for 60 coulombs to pass through. One more thing. Let me show you how that seconds works, just in case you're not sure. I've got, you can see the coulombs canceled. They're both on top in the numerator and the denominator. But in the denominator, that seconds is on the bottom. So it's like 1 over 1 over seconds. Now what I'll do is, there are a couple ways to do this, but what I'll do is I'll say, okay, that one, I'm going to turn that on top into seconds over seconds, because that's one. In the bottom, I've got one over seconds, and you see the denominators cancel, and that will wind up with seconds on top. So one over one over seconds is seconds, and that's how I got that. Anyway, that's, that's current.